Thanks, Professor Lowe, for that. And uh, I'll just click in the first one. So I'm going to talk about farm business management in the ag tech space. And uh, please save your questions to ask for later and we'll, um, we'll get into it now. Whoops, the wrong way. Our vision statement is to take the financial stress out of farming so farmers can get on and feed the world. It can be stressful. So some of the challenges that we face in helping farmers in this space and also that farmers face themselves, I'm just going to cover briefly. First of all, it's the accounting challenge. The ATO has given us, all businesses have to submit tax returns uh, annually and um, they gave us a blessing, you probably don't know, that uh, back when GST was given to us in the year 2000, a lot of farmers' accounting systems moved from their shoebox into uh, software programs because we needed to do our best monthly or quarterly, we needed to do our tax returns. So things like Myob were born, things like Phoenix, which is a farm-based um, accounting package out of um, uh, Toowoomba, and also AgriMaster out of Perth were born. They um, were born and on your laptops, basically sat on your hard drive. But in more recent times, we've seen uh, the rise of zero. And uh, so those other platforms are now rewriting to the cloud. A lot of farmers depend on these for their tax returns and BAS and also for their financial understanding of how their businesses go. But they don't answer the vital questions of, is my business viable? What, how efficient is it? What gross margins am I getting or how, where's my relative profitability between cropping and livestock or horticulture or viticulture? A lot of the management issues, they don't collect. So hence, Plant of Profit Agri was born to grab a lot of that data out of there and to move it on to more of a management platform where we can understand gross margins, we can understand monthly cash flow a lot easily, a lot, lot more easily. Um, we can do projected profit and losses and balance sheets and understand where the wealth generation is of the business. So the challenge we have is actually moving farmers from their expected and legal obligations to do their tax to grab that data and really use it for better management and decision making. Risk management um, is also while we're here, we're seeing our farmers having to face climate variability and the term climate change has now become more commonly used by farmers. Commodity price volatility, and that has been going up and down far greater in the last five years than we've experienced in the previous 20. And now we have the Royal Banking Commission telling banks that we need to do more diligent due diligence, so a lot more information need to be collected. All this has to be managed. We help them do that. Managing stress. Now, you guys would have seen a lot of drought stories coming out of New South Wales and Queensland, parts of Victor uh, Victoria and Upper South Australia. Financial stress, I've been told, is actually worse on the body than uh, physical stress. And effectively, uh, when farmers are not managing or measuring their financial capability, they worry the worst, and we're, help he we're here to help them measure that better. Business benchmarking is quite common in, in agriculture. Uh, I guess it's common in a lot of industries, like um, taking heart rate monitors when you're bike riding and things like that. But they only go so far. We need to help farmers move on that we sit back and see what's really affecting our profit and loss and project that forward. See what's really happening to our cash flows and monitor those. And more importantly, what's happening to our balance sheet. Um, farmers have benefited a lot from land values increases recently but they tend to not know how that's affecting their balance sheet and how that can improve their management. I just want to share with you a video that shows our solution to these issues. PDP Agri is an online farm business analysis and decision-making tool to help you improve your business control and direction, enhance your farm success and profitability, and improve your farm business long-term sustainability. At the core of this platform is the philosophy. If you cannot measure where your farm business has been and where it is now, how will you manage where it is going in the future? The three subscription levels address all stages of your business. Essentials, which shows where your business has been in the past. Season, which helps plan for your business right now and future, which helps plan your business for the future. 
All three products help you manage the three key measures of a farm business. Firstly, liquidity. Do I have enough cash to meet my commitments over the season? Secondly, efficiency. Are the resources I've invested in my business, particularly land, money and my time and effort, giving me the best possible return on my investment? And thirdly, wealth. Am I building net worth in my business over time? We used Plan to Profit uh, just recently in analysing an, a potential expansion when um, some land nearing us came on the market and it was very helpful in putting down a, a four year projection of what we expect to make and showing that to our bank manager so we had some real data and to satisfy both him and myself that it was the right thing to do for the business. You can put the scenarios in as just a dream perhaps and then you realise no that is a reality so you should be doing it. I wouldn't have dared thought to go for two or three blocks of land we went for two and got two so the business was in a strong position and it was ideal time for it to grow. I definitely would uh, recommend Plan to Profit Agri to other farmers. It helps you analyse your business both for today and make sure that the direction you're taking your business is a profitable and sustainable one for the future. Good farm business management is not an accident and it is not necessarily easy, but it is worth doing. Putting time into your business management can help you manage the risks and challenges that have always been and continue to be a part of farming business. PDP Agri's mission is to empower farmers and their advisors with improved business decision making to help build more profitable and sustainable businesses into the future. So we're fully committed to helping you be successful in using P2P Agri. The strength of our platform is the support we give to our users. In each section of the software, you can access support material via the begin and help icons on the help bar. This material includes videos and screen captures that show how to use the platform. The essential farm business management thinking that underpins the calculations and the reports in the program explanations of terms and how to read the results, and links to other farm business resources if you wish to extend your learning in this area of your business. If you think this powerful information is worth developing for your business, but do not have the time, or would prefer an advisor to provide that support, you can easily give access to advisors through your settings. So you can subscribe directly to PDP Agri yourself or contact one of your business advisors for their support. Alternatively, you can look for a P2P Agri accredited advisor on our website. Take up the challenge and subscribe to this revolutionary set of farm management tools today. Or give us a call to discuss this opportunity further. Great, I've been actually asked to look at um, farmers take up from adoption and what's preventing them doing it. I guess I've worked with farmers long enough now to know that emotional decision making is really important to them. So they need to feel more confident about their business in using this technology. And we, don't, we shouldn't ignore that. The second one to me is I'm background as an economist. The benefits need to be demonstrated quite clearly to them that is actually greater than the costs of adopting this technology and sometimes the risk. And the cost isn't just the physical, uh, the monetary cost, it also might be the time taken to learn it and to drive it. So we need to demonstrate benefits from there. And finally, I think to really help adoption is we need to support um, farmers and advisors in taking this technology up. I've started to use Zoom, which is a highly effective communication tool from computer to computer, really effectively both in training farmers and advisors and using our platform. I just want to talk about other app providers and because we're in the cloud, technically we can exchange information with them. It all just takes time and resources and as long as we've got good software architecture. But again, we need to demonstrate to users that the benefits are greater than the costs. This is a picture of our platform where you can actually draw paddocks and, and um, farms. And I just wanted to talk about DCAT, which is a, 
another cloud-based application that takes data from uh, satellite imagery and drones. And we, the idea is that I think in the future we can pull data out of DCAT, and it could be, this is an example where this wheat paddock might be projected to give us $546 a hectare, but suddenly in August we've got a, a frost activity happening. And uh, DCAT satellites have gone over, they've told us that there's 62% of area in been frosted, uh, their growth uh, understanding from this. Other, other algorithms have told us what the grain production has now dropped to and potentially what the hay production is. It's come into our platform. We know the expenses, we know the costs and it's generated the gross margin then, the new gross margin of this paddock. Grain falling to 235 bucks, hay 615. So it's not hard then for the farmer to be driven financially to make a decision of which way they go. Likewise with AgWorld, uh, AgWorld does a lot of um, crop planning and record planning. They could pull data into our platform and we could give a feedback as to what return on assets the farmers are projected to have that year. And we say, well, 1% isn't good enough, let's readjust this um, rotation and let's see how we can affect and be driven more by return on assets managed. So is this example jumping up to 9%. Or AgriWeb is another uh, exhibitor here, they do a lot of um, recording of livestock movements. We can pull data out of them and then answer questions that the farmer might have is to say, okay, what happens if I've decided to take less sheep and pay, put on more, capa, more cattle into the system? What's the feeding that's required? What's the demand required? Feeds into us and we can look at the projected change in profitability or equity and those sort of things. That's the future. Lessons for other commodity groups. Uh, essentially, P2P Agri does every uh, agricultural pursuit enterprise except dairy at the moment. And I know when I approached the dairy industry, they were less than helpful to perhaps help me come in there. So as startups, it's hard to actually present yourself to industry and, and provide them information as to where their growers or their farmers are, are using it. And they're sometimes reluctant to join us. Interesting experience I've had too is if I get asked as a guest speaker to come and talk about recovering from finance in a drought or um, talking about farm succe farming succession planning and if it's a um, government agency or pseudo government agency, I'm told I can't talk about my software and I'm saying, oh, why not? Oh, because there could be other people out there and we don't want to back you as a horse to do it. And I thought, well, how is it, how do we actually get that good information out to farmers? We should be more of a collaborative industry rather than one that closes down. Our challenges. I guess our challenge is that every farmer's got to do a tax return, so the accountant's income's assured, but it's not compulsory to be good managers. And I think we should be continually to tell the benefits of how good managers use technology, how they've adjusted their farming systems, improved their financial performances. Um, our challenge in the industry is to continue to show benefits of what these good managers are generating. That's our website and if you want to check us out, there is a number of inf videos and information on here but that little green button gives you a free demo. So if you want to look at a mixed farm at the moment and the sort of numbers and reports that you can get out, you can create yourself a free login to do that. But also there's other, if you're looking for advisors to help you and other people, there's contacts to do that. So Plan to Profit Agri, we're here to help farmers. That's our website. Five years ago, um, GRDC asked me to write a manual on farm business management, so that's a copy of it there. Um, it's been quite popular, it's actually gone to its third print now and um, it's found in about three universities' undergraduate programs, even though it was written for farmers. Uh, just as a special offering to uh, the group, if the first ten farmers want to catch me and talk about our, our platform after, um, I'll give, a, give you a, a copy of that book. It passes the weight test too, by the way. Okay, I hope I've gone some way to show you the, um, I guess, the, the big vision that we have to take financial stress out of farming so that farms can get on to feed the world, which we know is a big d challenge for us going out. And I hope I've gone some way to demonstrate that to you. So thanks, Andy. I'll open it up for questions.